A correlation coefficient is a matrix used to analyze the dependency or similarities between multiple variables at the same time. The result is table showing correlation coefficient between multiple variables. In Tableau, we have a function that calculates the Pearson correlation coefficient and in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to visualize the correlation coefficient matrix in Tableau. So without any further delays, let's jump straight into it and see how we can visualize the correlation coefficient in Tableau. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to visualize the correlation coefficient matrix in Tableau. So what is correlation coefficient? Well, it's a matrix used to analyze the dependencies between multiple variables at the same time. As you can see on the dashboard, we are trying to show the relationship or the dependencies between the subcategories by orders. So we have two axes, one axis at the top and one on the left hand side, where we have the subcategories from sample superstore data set. And we are trying to show the correlation between each of these combination of subcategories. So as you can see here, copiers, the relationship, the correlation coefficient between copiers and accessories is, you can see here, it's minus 0.346, which is quite low, which shows that the correlation coefficient is quite low. So there is no good relationship between these two subcategories. So if we are trying to buy a product, so copiers and accessories doesn't go together or we can't bundle them together. But at the same time, if you see copiers with tables, the correlation coefficient is really strong. It's one, which means that these two products can be bundled together. And as you can see, if you buy a copier, you definitely need a table to put the copier on that. So either you have a table already or you have to buy it. So in this scenario, these two subcategories or the products under these two subcategories have a strong correlation coefficient and can be bundled together. So that's how correlation coefficient work and it helps us to show the dependencies or the similarities between multiple variables or the dimensions. And in this case, we are showing that in between two subcategories. So let's see how we can build this chart or how we can visualize the correlation coefficient. So first of all, I will open a blank workbook and here I have already connected to sample superstore data set. And let me go to the data source tab and you can see here I have already brought orders into the data shell. But in order to create this charge, we need to join it with itself. So for that, I will open the data source for orders and I will bring orders into the same shelf and I will try to do the inner join between these two tables. So we can say we are doing the self check join between these two tables. And for this, I'll be joining it based on the order ID, which is my unique key. So I will join it with the order ID on order table and order one table. And once I do that, you will see order table is on the left hand side, which is showing with the blue line at the top and the name of the table is orders. But as we scroll on the right hand side, you will see here order one table is the other table, which is again shown with the blue line. But you can see here, it's the name is order one for this table. And all the fields under there will be shown with the bracket where we have a table name as order one. So once we have joined the tables, we will go to the sheet. And in this sheet, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to bring the subcategories from both the tables. And on the left hand side, you will see here, we have orders table and we have orders one table. And we have all the fields under there and same way. So these are the dimensions. And if you go at the bottom here, we have the measure values here. So let's, let's bring, let's bring subcategories. So we can do either way. So I, 
normally prefer to just put it in the search value and I will get both the subcategories from orders one table and this is from orders table. So I will bring subcategories from orders table into the column shelf and I will bring subcategories from orders one table into row shelf. You will see here the matrix is created or you can see a table is created with just ABC as the text value in that. But now we need to create the correlation coefficient between these two subcategories. So for that, I will create a calculated field. So maybe I will give the name Pearson correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient. And in here, the function, inbuilt function in Pebble is called correlation coefficient, C-O-R-R. When you go here on the right hand side, it will give you the help function, which tells you how, what is the syntax. So you can see here, this function retains the person correlation coefficient of two expressions. So in this example, we are showing sales and profit. But what we need is to find the correlation coefficient of the subcategories where we are saying include we have to use level of uh, detail expression. So we are including order ID. So first of all, I want to, the first expression will be from the table one. So I will use order ID from order table. So why we are using this, it's because we are trying to show, include the dimension and we are trying to include this order ID dimension to make sure at what level we want to analyze the data. So you can use if you want to analyze the data at customer level, you can use customer ID if we have that, and you can join both the tables at that level. So it's based on the analysis, what we want to do, we can modify this calculation based on our requirement. So in this particular scenario, I am trying to find the correlation between two subcategories by orders. So let's see how we can do that. So we will include order ID and then I want to show the sum of all the quantities in that order. So I will select the quantity from order table. So once we do that, I will close the curly bracket. So that's our first value of the function. Now I will do comma and I will include again order ID, but this time I will include the order ID from orders one table. And then I will do the sum of quantity from order one table. And once I do that, I will close the curly bracket and I will close the bracket. And I guess we had one extra bracket here. Mm, did I miss something here? Uh, oh, so this one we don't need and I need it here. So yeah, the calculation is valid now. So here we are showing the correlation between the quantity from first table and the quantity from the second table, which is order of one table between both the subcategories. So let's see how it works. So once I click OK, I will bring the Pearson correlation coefficient into colors mark. And once I do that, you will see here the correlation is created and the color coding, you can change it. So we can change it to, let's say, red and green and press OK. And you can see here there are different shades of green, right? And you can edit it again and you can increase the step color if you like to. And we can go to advanced and select the center as zero. And also we can create the borders if we want to. Let's do that. And here you can see the correlation coefficient is created between both these subcategories. And when you hover over to that, these ones, it will give you the value the higher the value is based on the darker green shade and lesser the value is based on the dark red shade. So we can see directly from here, as we mentioned about our copier example with accessories, the correlation coefficient is negative 0.345, which is quite low. So there is not much correlation between these two subcategories. Whereas if you see the correlation between tables and copiers, it's one which is quite strong and it's the maximum value and that can be bundled together and the correlation coefficient is quite strong between these two subcategories.
Now we can do a bit of more formatting and also if you see this dark green color here, this is one for all of these categories and this is because both the subcategories are same. So definitely the correlation coefficient will be one, but we don't want this to be shown here because it's quite misleading when we try to visualize it. So how we can remove that? So we will simply create a new, another calculated field and we will say Boolean and here I will simply select subcategory equal to subcategory from order one and it will give me a true and false value and I will bring it into the filter shell and I will say false and I will apply that and once I do that all these values are now gone disappear because we don't want to see that we already know like two subcategories are correlated strongly correlated and we don't want to show that so with a bit more formatting I can rotate the labels here I can remove the headers from the field labels and I can extend it into full view so we can also change the shape so right now it's in square forms we can change into circular form and it will look something like this and when we can increase the size or we can change it to shapes and you can choose your own shape you can make it a diamond shape or if you have your own custom shape you can go into your custom shapes which i have already created some here and you can select this shape and click ok and here it will be looking like this and we can do a bit more formatting by going into tooltip and i will try to and both the subcategories together and increase the size so it's easily visible and we can change the shadings and we can press OK and once I hover over it will show the correlation between copiers and binders and the Pearson correlation coefficient is 0 0.074 which is quite low but if you go to the darker shades of green it will show you a good correlation as you can see between tables and binders it's 0.561 and this is based on the quantity or the orders which we have uh, or which we have received on a particular day but now if you want to do the correlation let's say between a sales value instead of quantity so you can simply go and select sales here from order one order table and I will go here and select sales from orders one table and you will see by include based on the order ID the correlation coefficient between the subcategories based on the sales value we will see how it will change so here you can see here and now while looking at the same value we can see here the correlation coefficient between chairs and accessories is 0.341 and you can see here between arts and envelopes it's 0.462 which is pretty good and let's look at the labels and art it's 0.593 which is pretty good in this case so we can change it the way we like to and we can do different values so we can say profit if we want to profit from orders one and profit from orders table and we can see and adjust how these things change so again you can look at these values, tables and bookcases, the Pearson coefficient is 0.572, which is pretty good. So this is how we can visualize the Pearson coefficient in Tableau. I hope you all had fun today visualizing this correlation coefficient matrix and hope you all will be joining me next time to look out for some more exciting tutorials. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Bye.